As a lot of you may know, I'm a big Toy Story collector. I collect all the characters and all stuff like that, and merchandise, everything. But there are three characters that I love to collect for. Buzz Lightyear, Woody, and the aliens. Now, Buzz and the aliens are kind of like a second for me. But my number one favorite character to collect for is Woody. Right here, you can see I got two from 2019. I got the Walmart Woody, produced by Thinkway, and the JCPenney Woody, which I think is produced by Disney. They're kind of like the JCPenney ones, all based off of uh, Toy Story 4. But, you know, the Walmart Woody kind of is about first three, but a lot about four. And just other stuff Woody would say. So... sure I don't leave my hat anywhere? Thanks, partner. Good to know you've got my back, partner. Trash? No, no, no. You're not going to the trash. Yeah, okay, all right, okay. That, that, that is enough. What? No, 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 no. You can't go. Forky. I gotta get Forky. What are you doing out here? Oh, and now, right here, there's just two, but there are many more Woodies out there. You know, there's there's they're definitely in the double digits and maybe even the triple digits for as many as there are out because there's different variants of each woody like there were three major or four major ones that came out for the new one it was the this one that i have on the left and right both of those plus the push button one push button version of the one on the left which had about half the sayings that it uh, the one on the left does and the soft and huggable which doesn't say anything but does have the movie accurate face so if you're making a custom use that one so you know there's other woodies out there they're all produced by like thinkway hasbro mattel disney all the companies that produce toys those are the four i know about but there's probably more than those four companies but those are the famous ones hasbro hasn't done woody in a while but and neither is Mattel, I don't think, but there's Thinkway and Disney who do really good jobs at them. But we're going to go back to when the number of Woodies you could buy was maybe only in the double digits, maybe even single digits. I, I want to say double digits, but could be single digits. So we're going back to the 90s when the movie came out. This was actually, now I do say it, the period... Where there were double and single digit numbers of Woody's out there. Because we're going from Toy Story 1 and 2. So, these are all releases for both of them, I think. Like, you know, I never had these toys growing up. Because I, I'm a 2000s child, but I still have them now. So, I don't really know the history behind them much. But I do know that they're from the 90s. So, let's get into this. Right here is an old Mickey Mouse toy from maybe a 60s or 70s. As you can see, he's got a string on the back, just like Woody. I know he doesn't really sound too good, but this is really what Woody would have been like back in the day. So anyway, put that off to the side and let's travel to the 90s. So in this review, I'm going to start with the most common one and probably go to the most obscure one. So... You know, we'll start with common ones and just get to the obscurity. So, right here, my original 1995 Thinkway Woody. Now, I know I said I didn't have these toys growing up, but I meant when they came out because I did have this toy growing up. He was given to me from a cousin, and he didn't have the hat when I got him, but I did get an extra hat for him. So, this might not even be the right hat, but, you know, it's just like... It's alright. He's not in the greatest condition, but he's in good enough condition for me. So, he does have a pull string. This is the one everybody had. Everybody wanted this one. Because it's the most like the movie, so. Right. Let's hear what he has to say. Howdy, partner. My name's Woody. You're my favorite deputy. Yeehaw, cowboy. There's a snake in my boots. He is produced by Thinkway. The, I think, the number one company to make these toys. So that's just kind of your basic 19, 
95, maybe. This one might be a re-release. I don't know. Because I know that they did re-release these. But I know it's basically the 1995 one. I haven't been able to find a copyright on him yet, but I'll keep looking. Now, uh, this isn't really anything too special, but I'm pretty sure he's still from the 90s. This is a Woody that they had at Burger King. Now, actually, this is cool because he, Burger, you know, Burger King doesn't really give out stuff like this anymore. And he may have been an add-on if you paid like a dollar or something. I really don't know the history behind this. Like I said, I wasn't around in the 90s, so I'm not the answer man, but I do know some stuff. So, you can see he's all plush. His hands are plush, the body's plush. The only thing that's not is the head, the hat, and the boots. I don't know why the hands aren't, but the boots are. Yeah, the hands aren't plastic, but the boots are. No pull string, doesn't talk, he's just kind of like a toy that you get at Burger King. The face, however, I am a fan of the face, because... Look at that, it's closed mouth just like in the movie. So that's pretty cool. This is a really cool item from Burger King, and I wish they still had stuff like this. Alright, next item. I wasn't sure which one of these next two to put first, but I'm gonna put this one first, just because this is probably a little less obscure. It's the Strum and Sing and Woody, and he did come with a guitar, but unfortunately I don't have it. Just kidding, of course I have the guitar. I wouldn't buy this without the guitar. You can see he's in perfect condition. Now these, these are hard to find in this good of condition. I just got lucky. Like, you don't find them with the guitar. You don't, you never see them with the hat. You never see them with the vest. You had to just, you had to just find somebody who really took good care of what they own because these these are hard to find in this good of condition he even has like the fake pull string on his back now that you this is something you don't see i don't plan on selling it because i got it for so cheap like i only paid like i want to say like oh uh, what did i pay for this maybe like 25 27 dollars something like that really cheap for what it is because i mean you'll get them for that price without any of the add-ons like the hat so I'm going to show you what he does. So you turn on the guitar and you just, it do, he does have the hole in the hand for the guitar, but I actually took that off because I thought it was annoying. He did have a strap on the guitar, but I do have it, but it fell off. So I still have it. I just don't have it on there. So basically what you do is you tune the guitar then push a button. And then, like, you can see it works off a light sensor. Now, me looking at this, I can't see it, but you can see it. Like, I don't know why that is. Oh, well, it went away. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. When the road was rough ahead and you're miles and miles from the night you want to bed. You just remember what you want to So there's a song, and he'll also whistle them too, if you... Oh, you have to tune the guitar. So that's Strum and Sing and Woody. Uh, he was made by Mattel. Um, I actually really like the Mattel Woodies. I don't like how the buttons... Well, I plan if I ever get a another Mattel Woody to, you know, take it apart, make it a custom, switch around parts. I know that sounds bad, but it's cool if you've ever tried it. So yeah, I'm going to see what I can do with that. There, I'm gonna like probably what I do is glue the buttons in so they're like that and they don't move. 
Maybe. It's just a thought. If I ever get another one of these. So, yeah, he does have Andy on this boot. So, those ones out of the way, I'm going to get into a little, kind of an obscure one, I'd say. I'd say this is more obscure than other Woodies. It is the original push-button Woody. These are, it's basically an alternative to that pull string one, and it basically has a lot of the same phrases, but, you know, it, it's just like, has a button instead, and these are like ones you don't really see too much, and especially in this good of condition, like, and see, so he's got like a fake string on his back, so. Howdy, partner, my name's Woody, reach for the sky, yee cowboy, what would have been cool is if, like, he had other phrases on you. Press this one, but no. You can see he's got the... Now, I was asked by a friend of mine if in this video I could do a size comparison. And I, even if he didn't ask me, I would have done it because this is not what I was expecting when I got this. So here's the Burger King Woody next to Big Woody. And you can see that's... If you know what the Burger King one's like, then you know how big this is. But, I'm assuming most of you know how big the original Thinkway one is. So, let's do this comparison. This is the original Thinkway Woody next to the Push Button Woody. Also, he is by Thinkway. And yes, when I got him, I was shocked too. I didn't think he was going to be this small. He is much smaller than the original Woody... I don't know what the reason for that is, but I actually kind of like it. He's cool to have because, like, you know, just cool to have, like, one that's a different size. And then this little guy. And here, I'll even put in the strumming, singing Woody in, too. Let's see. I think the tallest one is either the strumming, singing one or the thinkway one. It's something like that. I'm not sure, but whatever it is. So... I, I was really surprised at this one. I thought that this one was going to be as big as this one, but nope, he's pretty small, actually. I don't know what the reason for that is, but they're all cool. I, I enjoy having all of these woodies from the 90s. I know, probably think all I do is Toy Story stuff, and that's not everything I do, but that is a big part of stuff I collect, and I just really enjoy to have all this history. Because, I mean, where else will you find a strum and sing and woody with everything, like the hat and the vest. They're hard to find, especially on eBay. I mean, other than collectors and people who took good care of their things. So, this is a size comparison of these woodies. I know um, this other one YouTuber is making a movie-accurate woody out of this push-button woody. I'll link the part one to that video in the description. It's pretty cool. I recommend checking it out. Now I know somebody made a movie accurate Woody out of this one too, I think. I'll put that in the description. So we've gone a long way from the you know, you know the nineties to now. I mean like the ones in the nineties are still are really good, but there there have been some really good ones to come out, like you know, the playtime Woody, the collection Woody, the 20th anniversary Woody. You know, a lot of ones by Thinkway. As you can tell, I am pretty biased towards Thinkway. They're, like, my favorite company that produces Woodies. But still, I really like the other ones, too. Like, I grew up with a Hasbro Woody. And it was pretty cool, actually. I liked it. And, um, yep. So, these are some Woodies from the 90s. I know there are more from the 90s, but this is what I have from the 90s. I'm hoping to get more. I want to get more Mattel Woodies, because I think the Mattel Woodies are kind of underrated. If you know what I mean. It's like, you know, nobody really knows about the Mattel Woodies, but everybody knows about the Thinkway Woodies. So, yeah, the Mattel Woodies are, I think they're pretty cool. You know, they all have, like, unique features. Like, it's not just, Mattel doesn't just have, like, a normal Woody. They all have, like, something different about each of them, and that's cool. So, here they are, the Woody's from the 90s. Thought you'd like to see that. I know I was asked by a friend of mine to do this, and here we are. So, see you in the next one. Have a nice one. Bye.